Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September monthly favorites video. I know it's late. I tried, I tried, I tried to get it done in the month of September, but I obviously failed. I am still going to do an October favorite, so don't worry, but um, September's is coming now. Again, if you see my last favorites video, I'm just basically showing you guys a few products that I'm liking this month, and hopefully you guys will try them out. If you have tried them out, make sure you comment below and let me know. Um, also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not already following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. My ad name is is John A. Contour and I'll make sure it's like right here somewhere. All right, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about today is this. It's the Cetaphil Face Wash. It's a daily facial cleanser and it's for normal to oily skin. I have very oily skin and I just recently started using this this month. I absolutely love this face wash. Like I think that my skin has improved tremendously just because I've been using it. It says here it removes excess oil without drying and clinically proven to deep clean skin. So for me, I wear a lot of makeup and I constantly have to wash my face. The only time I really get breakouts if it's hormonal. So um, this is helping my skin stay really clean and I actually like the way it feels. It's not over drying and it's just overall really nice. And once I completely take off my makeup, this is the first thing I go in with and I feel like my skin is actually clean. Now for this product, it is about $8 I believe for this size of a bottle. I bought the smaller bottle because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I did end up liking it so I will be going back to get a bigger bottle. I ended up buying this from Target and they actually had a coupon on their little Cartwheel app so if you have the Target app make sure you look for their coupons because I get a lot of my makeup with the coupon and also got this with the coupons. Alright so the next product that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio um, and this is for your brows. It's a brow gel. Now um, with this one I actually have been using it as like an actual product. I know it's a brow gel but um, when I use a I use a pencil I'm gonna show you guys what I actually use. Hang on. So to apply this, I actually use this little um, angled brush right here. I don't know who it's by, but it has literally an angle at the end of the brush here. And then on the other end is a spoolie. So this is exactly what I use to apply this to my brows. And it actually stays on, like you can remove it, but you can actually see that your brows are a little bit tinted after you remove it. And this really works like during the week if I wanna put something on that's gonna last me. Um, say I don't wanna do my brows every single day, I can actually put this on and then the next day my brows won't look as bad. I can just take a pencil and kinda shade it in. I mean, I really like it. I got this at Walgreens. It was about 10 bucks, I believe, and it's in this tube. The only downfall, it doesn't come with a brush. It comes with this little thing. I'm going to show you guys. It comes with this little applicator. It's like a concealer applicator. I don't know why um, maybe we would put that in there. It's like kind of odd, but... Other than that, that's the only complaint I have with it. I actually like this product. So if you guys um, want to try this on your brows, please let me know how you like it. Again, I really like it. Um, some people might not because it is very loose. It's like, ugh, I don't know how to describe it other than it's like a, it looks like a foundation. It has the contexture and consistency of a foundation, but it's for your eyebrows. So <laughs> I hope that didn't scare you away, but I really like this product. So the next product on my list is the Makeup Shack Lashes in the Style Dubai. Yes, of course. These lashes are all over the internet. Everybody knows about these lashes and they are absolutely bomb. I'm so mad that I didn't try them out sooner. You know, when you hear about something so much, to me, I don't want to go out and purchase it right then and there. Like, I want to see every, what everyone else is saying first. Um, but now that I've actually tried them myself, I love these lashes. I actually wore them out. Um, I wish I had a picture I can like insert so you guys could see, but I'm gonna be doing another look with them soon. These lashes are the bomb. I did have a little bit of issues like getting them to adhere using my regular lash glue, so I'm probably gonna have to get a, a stronger lash glue. I don't know what it was, but maybe it was just the, 
it could have been the eyeliner that I was wearing as well I don't know what it was I just know that I had a couple of issues putting them on but other than that these babies are the bomb. I actually ordered like three or four pairs, so I'm so excited to be keep wearing these same lashes. I'm going to try to switch them up, but you're going to see me in these babies a lot. Alright, so the next product is for my curly hair girls, and this is your Aussie Miracle Curls. Now, if you saw my first hair video, um, I love Aussie. Like, I've used their shampoo, I've used their conditioners, and I use their 3-Minute Miracle Leave-In um, conditioner. And that is the bomb. And this product here I recently purchased because right now I have um, a curly texture hair, um, which is this hair that I have here now. And it actually really works. So you can use this on your regular hair and your weaves. I actually use this on my daughter's hairs, um, both of them. And it smells so good. Like all of Aussie's products smell so good. Like if you have curly hair, I really recommend that you try this out. Please let me know if you like it or not. Um, it does not provide as much moisture as I would like, but again, there's other products that you can use for that. I always use a leave-in conditioner anyway, so my hair is always moisturized. This is just like a curly um, cream. And I prefer this over the Cantu curling cream that I always swear by. I actually like this a little bit better. So, and it's, I think it's cheaper. This might be four bucks. So, yeah, go ahead and give this a try. Aussie always has sales. And again, they also have coupons. Use your coupon. The next product I'm going to be showing you guys. It's really tall. Like, you can actually see it off the table. Um, the next product I'm going to be showing you guys is the Arm & Hammer Clean Sensations. And these are laundry booster beads or scents whatever you want to call it but basically you take this and you pour it into your washing machine and it makes your clothes smell so good now I used to use these a long time ago because again I had a coupon sorry <laughs> I like coupons but anyway I got my mom onto these and we started using them and then I stopped buying them because they jacked the price up on them and it made me so mad <laughs> like for this bottle they jacked it up and I was so mad it was like $7.99 and I'm like okay we need to go back to where we started it was like $3.99 at first but um, recently Publix had them buy one get one free so I said you know what I might as well even though it's seven bucks I can get two bottles for the price of one and again there was a coupon I'm not even joking there was a coupon so <laughs> if you want to try this product out please let me know how you like it I do a lot of laundry I have there's four people in this house so <laughs> I have to do a lot of laundry and these smell so good um, I do use, still use a fabric softener with these because I'm extra and I just like my clothes to smell good but these definitely make a difference so um, try these out if you really if you do a lot of laundry and you like your clothes to smell really good try them out and let me know if you like them and the last product that I'm going to be showing you guys is a product that I actually discovered on a cruise this is the Castello de Pojillo Moscato and um, we first had this wine on our cruise to the Bahamas it was um, we were in the dinner room and there was this guy there and he was eating dinner and he actually saw us there and asked us like what we were doing there and it was actually our anniversary when we went on the cruise and he was so nice and gave us his bottle of wine and this wine was the best wine that I literally had like the best Moscato I've ever had and ever since then I have been buying this wine now Publix just recently had them buy one get one free like literally buy one get one free so you pay ten dollars and you get two bottles of wine um this has let's see it's only seven percent alcohol volume so it's not that much but the the taste of it is something that I really enjoy I like my wines to be sweeter um I do not I'm not a real wine drinker like people say like a real wine drinker I don't like a bitter tart wine so Moscato's um are my favorite I like sweet reds but this one is a really good Moscato so if you like Moscato and you like sweet wine I highly recommend that you give this a try and again you can always get them on sale at Publix and this week it was buy one get one 
free. <laughs> like, so please go out and get your wine before the sale ends. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the video, you guys. I hope that it wasn't too short, but I just wanted to come on and give you guys my favorites for the month. If you do try any of these products out, please let me know down in the comments. Um, write me on Instagram. Let me know if you like it. Again, if you have any products that you want me to try and want me to talk about here on my channel, let me know. Um, I'm willing to try all types of things. I really am trying to challenge myself to try new things, but I'm one of those people like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like once you like something, you stick to it. I'm such, I'm so like that, but I know with these favorites videos, I'm gonna have to get out of that. So I'm really, really trying. And next month, I hope that I try some new products. Like oh, I'm gonna try to do a whole thing of new products. That's my goal for October. So I'm gonna keep my word to that. <laughs> and hopefully you guys will be able to see my reactions to these products. And I might even do a video of products that I try and I didn't like, cause I know with me trying stuff, every single month. I know I'm going to run into stuff I don't like, so I might do a video on that. So just stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And again, follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.